Welcome to the homestead. Well, we've been gone for about a week and now we're back and the grass is getting overgrown. The water guy is here putting the water, getting the water out and uh, he was just uh, testing the line and water splouted up in the air really big. Uh, that's going to make a muddy mess over there. Anyway, got a little bit of cold, came home with a little bit of cold, got a little earache, but all's good. And uh, I guess we're going to have to mow the lawn today. I was going to bring out some more Christmas lights and try to finish up that Christmas stuff, but um, we probably should do some weed eating and some mowing today. Um, the grass is damp and wet, but I'm going to have to check to see if we're expecting rain. It had to rain while we were gone because the little pond we're digging has water in it and uh, the trash can was knocked over so we must have had some winds going on. Not completely over because we do have them strapped to the tree but it was kind of there. He's testing the water again. Let's watch him. Did it again.
fix that electric lawnmower. I'm having trouble finding a blade for it. I wish I had it now, which would make this easier. Well, the battery died. Behind me, I'll show you. They're uh, flushing the water pipes out that come to our property. Apparently when they uh, put these pipes together, they fill them with chlorine dust to kill any bacteria and stuff. So then they have to pa uh, flush them for quite some time. He said a couple of hours. Um, after they do that, they're gonna have to take a test, bacteria test, make sure that it passes that. And it'll probably be a week or so before they can let us have the water. Now I was wrong about what was what. The blue box, and I will show that to you. The blue box right now has the water coming out of it. That's the valve for the county to flush or do whatever, or turn it off or whatever they need to do. So the little black box, and I'll show you that too, is in the ground. That is, I was right, that's the water meter. But that's also where our main water source will take off. Now, you're not supposed to drive over the top of these, and that's disconcerting, since this is where our garage was going to be. Um, I had no idea they were going to come onto the property, and I asked him about it, and he said that the reason they come onto the property about four feet is uh, inside the fence line is so that the cable guys and the telephone guys don't come along and cut their water lines. That's interesting. So to keep, uh, keep those guys from running over the water lines and doing their job, you know, with an underground survey before they dig, they inconvenience our property. So I'm assuming if they have to extend this water on down to the next piece of property, they're just going to keep digging right on our property. That doesn't make me super happy. I don't think there's anything I can do about it since when we filled out the contract, uh, to have the water put in, we did sign a right of easement to the water company. So, I guess it is what it is. Anyway, let me show you that uh, that disconnect or that connect up for the county where they're letting the water out into the culvert and the water uh, uh, the water meter. I'll show you the water meter first since it's right here. So this here is the water meter, and I was right; they do read it electronically through here. Now our stub in, our pipe, is directly over here underground. It got buried. Um, that's okay, we can dig it up, not a problem. This here's county property. Well, on our property. But this is their box for accessing the shutoff. As you can see, it's just running out there into the culvert. It'll do that for a couple hours until they test it. They did tell me, however, he could lower this box some. I'm not sure how much, but some. So I'm going to take him up on it. Now I need to work on this gate, uh, such as it is. Basically it's barbed wire and poles. Um, the Moving it in and out by hand, rusty old wire. Anyway, I need to firm it up a little bit so that when I pull it back, it doesn't turn into a spaghetti mess. You'll kind of see when I put it up so that I can work on it. You can see how it's not very even. So let's see if we can get that straightened out a little bit.
Okay, <clears throat> that should take care of it on the temporary anyway. I don't have a rail, you know, bale of wire or anything to fix this, so I'm just using what I can find. Uh, the reason for that is we do have all new fencing for this property, and I hate to put anything into into this one here. Just enough to keep it up, so we can keep the big critters out, and, and uh, you know, anybody who might just be wandering around. It won't keep them out, but it is a deterrent. You know what they say? Good fences make good neighbors. We got ants. Well, had an accident, weed eating. Shame on me, I didn't see the wires between the trees. It's fixable, I think. I don't have any wire here, but I'll have to pick some up when we go back to town. And then, fix it. Sorry, babe.